So all of us have people in our lives that we don't want to run into. We don't want to have conversations with them. It could be an ex. It can be a, a friend who just will not stop talking. Now there is an app known as Cloak, and it was created by someone named Chris Baker. Chris Baker is actually the person who uh, created an app that would hide baby pictures from your feed on Facebook because everyone's friends are having children right now. And if you don't want to have children, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But anyway, um, so let me tell you how Cloak works. Um, it gathers GPS information on your friends every time they post on Facebook or Instagram and the app connects to those social media sites and if your friend is in a particular area and you don't want to run into that person all you do is you put, uh, press on them on this map and it kind of flags them and once they're flagged you will be notified if they are in your vicinity and you can avoid them that way so I think this is so amusing because social media is supposed to keep you social but in this case you get to avoid people you don't want to run into so uh, let me just open it up to whoever wants to jump in with the first answer what do you guys think about this is this a good idea I think it's sad I'm sorry <laughs> I mean it's, I think it's funny the, the, I, you know what it makes me think of is that idea that like in the future everyone will have 15 minutes of anonymity. You know what I mean? Oh, right, that's funny. <laughs> like that there's just this already this yearning. Well, especially for people who can remember a time when you didn't have like right, your contour. Right. That are just it's it's not necessarily as misanthropic as it's. I mean, it's sold as misanthropic because it's funny. Yeah. But as much as I think it is like about some natural instinct again towards maybe like not always knowing all, you know where everything is all the time. I'm worried about being insulated from reality, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're gonna run into people you don't like and you should learn right. how to deal with them. I mean, that's a certain social skill that should be mastered. You can't just avoid people just because you don't like them. Right. Yeah. Well, and that's only if their GPR lo GPS locator is on. Right, well that's the other thing, because so it assumes like a ubiquity of yeah. use in these like, tech, you know, I don't, my friends don't do that. I have no, like, no friends no. in Foursquare. I mean, yeah. if there was an application for it, it would be good for someone who was bullied and who really truly needed to be away from someone, but from a standpoint of being antisocial, I think it's just a little gimmicky. It's a great way to get some press, right. but... Gimmicky. Yeah, I don't think it'll have any lasting, no. But, but I can see the same technology being used for good. So that's right. when it does show up and it allows innovators to go, oh, you could do the same thing. Um, let's say you're in Crimea and you want to find your comrades or stay away, you know, so you, mm -hmm. can, you could say. Right. So I'm seeing it from a different angle. Yeah, so I mean, social media can be used for good or bad. Yeah. Advancements in technology can be used for good or bad. Yeah. We see that all yeah. the time. And I'm not even saying this is bad. I'm just saying that I'm grateful it happened because I, I wouldn't use it, but I see that technology being useful for something. What is it with people wanting to share where they are at any given moment? Like, I never really understood that because, you know, with Facebook, you can check into certain places. With Foursquare, it's the same thing. Um, you can show people where you're tweeting from. You can show people where you're taking your pictures. I mean, but why? Why do we want to share so much personal information about ourselves, including our whereabouts? I don't know, I think, I think like there's a, a lot is said about how social media is actually very s isolating. And, and some of them, I don't know, I feel that way about Facebook a lot of the time. There's a weird, like, unique kind of loneliness felt because of other people existing. But, uh, <laughs> but like, I, I don't know, I, I've, I've really changed my perspective on this as I got more involved in, in YouTube and the Twitter culture and all that stuff. Where, like, when it started, I was really freaked out by, like, this constant presence of people. But I've come to find that these interactions that you have with strangers, whether they're people watching a YouTube thing or through a comment, because there's the masses of just, like, you say whatever you want. But a lot of people, you know, and then you'd meet them in, in life at, like, a VidCon, like, these conventions for YouTube and stuff like that. And, you know, there's real human interactions that happen. And if I have a funny thought or something like that that I would, like, say to my friend, and if we were having coffee, but I'm alone and I tweet it and another friend likes it or responds, that, that's like a real human interaction that happened I, that I believe in, that that's I don't think people, it's all bad. That's what people want to see. That's what people want to see. I think, that's, I think that stuff's totally valid. Yeah. I think that, you know. Well, from a stand uh, standpoint of location sharing, Flickr was doing this really cool thing where oh. if you took a picture but your picture didn't turn out well, uh, you could actually use an app and stand in that exact, you know, basically know where you were <laughs> geolocated and someone else's picture would show up for you. So you could, you know, <laughs> mitigate that bad photo selfie that you that took. That is amazing. <laughs> amazing and also creepy in a yeah, lot of ways. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. wow. So, yeah, we I mean. All one. So yeah. uh, again, whenever we talk about social media or technology, I always worry about our privacy, but it's always funny to me because while yes, there are certain things that we don't share on social media, but those tools can be used by let's say the government to spy on us, a lot of us do overshare and we oh, yeah. love to talk about how freaking awesome our lives are when in reality things aren't that great. 
Yeah. Well, I always love that. Well, first of all, the conspiracy theorists to me love the thing about like, they don't have to put chips in you, man. You got the phone yourself, you yeah. know? Like we want it. We <laughs> want to say, you know, I want my navigation. Yeah. But um, I, yeah, I don't know. And all those wearable devices are coming out now. I mean, Google yeah. just announced its new um, device where you can. Google Glass? Yeah, but no, they have another one. It's like mm -hmm. wearable technology where you can start to you know, transfer information as you're doing it. Yeah, so it's not even like you're, yeah, yeah. So it's not even time. like you're, you're thinking about consciously sharing, like it's sharing for you. So it becomes part of your human journey, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's I think, amazing. I think like, you know, there's a whole like uh, paper walls thing that like, you know, in Japanese culture, there were paper walls. So you just pretended you didn't hear things on the other side of it. I just think a new social etiquette will evolve because there is no privacy anymore if you don't want it. I think a new social yeah. etiquette of like, you know, you acknowledge things when you're supposed to. I mean, it might, might, oh, you know, see that happen. Devastating. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But the authentic is never going to go away. Yeah. No. Yeah.